Hi there, I am Tanya and you are watching our YouTube channel Learn With Ears. Now let's start with our today's topic that is subject and object pronouns. But before understanding subject and object pronouns, let's understand pronouns first. Okay, what are pronouns? A pronoun is a word that replaces a noun in a sentence. For example, Lena is a teacher. Lena teaches English. Lena's teaching style is amazing. So here you can notice in all three sentences we are using same word. Lena, Lena, Lena. We are repeating the word and it seems boring. Okay? Lena is the name of a person. That means Lena is a noun and we know if we want to replace a noun we have to use pronoun. Now let's understand it in this way. Lena is a teacher. She teaches English. Her teaching style is amazing. So you can notice that we are using she and her on the place of a noun. Okay. So we are replacing noun and putting she, which is pronoun, and her, which is pronoun, okay? Lena is a teacher. She teaches English. Her teaching style is amazing. Now we understood pronouns. That pronoun is a word that replaces a noun. Now... What about subject pronoun? What is a subject pronoun? A subject pronoun does the action in a sentence. For example, she works on computer. Works is an action word. Okay? Works is an action word. She is doing the action that means she is subject pronoun okay so works is an action word or action verb and she is doing the action she is a doer so she is a subject pronoun now let's understand about subject pronouns i he she, it, we, you, they. Okay, these are subject pronouns. I, I, I am enjoying everything. He, he. He feels bad. She. She. She likes to dance. It. It. It barks every night. Or. It is a school. Or. It's an umbrella. Okay, so we use it for an animal, for a place or a thing. You. You. You are watching this video. You are an amazing person. We. We. We are students, including a speaker also. They, they, they. Okay, so a person, a speaker is speaking. Okay, so speaker is the first person. Speaker is speaking, listener is listening. And they are talking about 
third person so speaker is the first person listener is second person and they are talking about third person okay so one two three third person plural so they they means plural many means they they when we talk about many we use they they are students of the year they are students of the year she she we use for a woman or for a girl now let's see some sentences shelly goes to school okay so shelly is female and for female we can use she so shelly goes to school we can replace shelly with she she is a pronoun shelly is a noun she goes to school penny eats food penny is a female so we can use she okay penny is a noun because it's the name of the person and she is a pronoun because she is replacing this noun okay penny eats food she eats food my mother is a teacher my mother is a teacher she is a teacher okay we are replacing my mother with she he he we use for a man and for a boy okay means we use he for males now let's see some sentences james is the teacher that means james is a man because james is a name of a male he is a teacher we can replace james with he because he is a pronoun which we can use on the place of noun next david likes to eat pizza david is a name of a male so we can use he we can replace david with he okay because he is a pronoun he likes to eat pizza now next is my uncle is a doctor my uncle uncle is a male okay he is a man so we can replace it with he he is a doctor my uncle is a doctor he is a doctor now it it we use it for an animal for a place or a thing now let's see sentence this shopping mall is very big so shopping mall is the name of a place and we can use it so we can use the pronoun it it is very big monkey is very clever monkey is a name of an animal it's a noun and we can replace with pronoun it so we'll say it is very clever this is a brown table this is a brown table table it's a thing okay so we can use it it is a brown table now next is we we including a speaker shelly dave jenny and i are playing tomorrow okay 
There are one, two, three, four. Four people. We use we for plural. We can use we on the place of these nouns. So including a speaker also. So we can replace these nouns and put we. We are playing tomorrow. We are playing tomorrow. Jack and I. Jack and I. Two people. Okay. So we can use we. We are brothers. Jack and I. We. We are brothers. All students of my class and I. All students and I. Plural. Okay. Are participating in painting competition. So we can say we are participating in painting competition. Now next is they. We use they for plural. Sue and her mother are going. We can say they are going. These are mice. Okay. Mice are brown. Mice is plural. Okay. So we can say they. They are brown. These are monkeys. Plural. Okay. Monkeys. They are plural. So we can say they. They are very clever. Monkeys are clever. They are very clever. Now next is you. You can try this. Sure sir. Are you ready? You surprised me. When? Now you can notice we use you for singular when a speaker is speaking and a person is listening. So for singular also and when you are talking to a group of people means plural okay so we use you with singular and with plural now let's see singular subject pronouns i you he she it now let's see plural subject pronouns these are we, you, and they. So you we use as a singular subject pronoun and as a plural subject pronouns. Now there are two people. A person who is speaking and a person who is listening. So the person who is speaking is the first person and another is the second person. And they are talking about third person, boy, he. Now they are talking about third person, girl, she. Now they are talking about third person, animal, it. Now they are talking about three students. Here there is a girl and there are two boys. But they can't use he or she because there is one girl and two boys okay they are plural so for girl and boy for plural plural pronouns we use they they okay first person second person they are talking about third person but plural third person plural they now they are talking about animal okay but there are three one two three so that means they are plural third person plural is also they now let's talk about object pronouns an object pronoun is the pronoun that receives the action okay object pronoun receives the action for example 
he looks at me he is doing the action he is a subject pronoun okay he is a doer and me is receiving the action so me is an object pronoun now we understood object pronouns next we'll see subject and object pronouns together subject pronouns i she he it we you they and object pronouns are me her him it us you them it we use for one thing or for one situation in object pronoun also for one thing and one situation we you and they we use for people and things similarly us you and them we use for people and things you can see it and you are same in subject pronouns and object pronouns now next is we need to understand a subject pronoun comes before a verb for example she gave him a present okay so she is subject pronoun because she is a doer gave is a verb and him is object pronoun she is a doer she is a subject pronoun and him is a receiver him is an object pronoun okay a subject pronoun comes before a verb okay this is a verb and before a verb this is a subject pronoun an object pronoun comes after a verb or sometimes after a preposition now let's understand it by this example he is talking to her okay now he is a subject pronoun to is a preposition and her is an object pronoun so sometimes preposition comes before an object pronoun okay now let's understand it by some examples he came with me okay with is a preposition and after preposition we use object pronoun not i because i is a subject pronoun okay the letter is from them them is an object pronoun we are using object pronoun because from is a preposition okay and after preposition we use object pronoun will not use they because they is a subject pronoun this isn't right job for me for is a preposition that's why we are using object pronoun which is me we are not using i because i is a subject pronoun right now let's see some examples i like it we will invite him she wants to buy a car you don't know me he comes to meet you you come to meet him he likes it they are asking for it she doesn't listens to them they don't give him okay so here you can notice i we she you he you he they she they these all are subject pronouns okay because they are coming and starting they are doers and here it him her me you him it it them him they are object pronouns now let's see 
these are subject pronouns i we she you he you he they she they these are subject pronouns okay they are doers and these are object pronouns these are receivers okay these are doing the actions and these are receiving the actions so i hope you understood subject and object pronouns that's it for the day thank you